Hey yo, what's goody, all my beautiful people out there in the tube of the U? It's your boy J Nut over here at Hookanucka, and I'm here again with my boy Dylan. Say what up again, D. What's going on, guys? We are reviewing Social Smokes Hong Kong milk, milk tea. tea. Bam, we didn't even practice that. That was just all natural. So my initial, uh, the initial smell that I, I get, you definitely smell that milkiness. And um, I want to say it has like a little bit of an Asian flair. I almost smell um, this time around uh, like a honey milk. Yeah. I don't know if you get that or not, but no, I, I the, Yeah, so again, so Hong Kong milk tea uh, was sent over to me by Mohammed from Social Smoke, so shout out to everybody over at Social Smoke, thank you guys, we really appreciate it. Um, so Hong Kong milk tea, it's, what it is, what milk tea is, is it's basically a black tea, and then with condensed milk or milk. So, is so from what I get when I smell it, I mean, you definitely get tea notes, but then at the same time, there's definitely that heavy, milky taste to it. Right on. So, you know, big shout out to Social Smoke for sending it out early and, and allowing, you know, people to, to give an opinion on it. And I think that's really important in the community, man. I think not enough people, not enough vendors do that because um, that's who you're selling it to. So I think yeah. that everybody's opinion, well, not every single person, but you know, get a good grasp on what the opinion is of the smoke. And if you need to change something, change it. And I think Social Smoke does a really good job with that. I see them out on social media, especially on Facebook. Yes. One time they posted, um, name your hit and misses. And if you name your miss, they would ask you, like, well, what didn't you like about it? And they either discontinued those flavors, or I think they went back in the lab and maybe might have improved on some of that. So I think that's really cool. You, you got to love a company that's really passionate about the product like that so well yeah I mean and again I I'm sure you guys are all over hoop enthusiasts and stuff like that before I mean before they even come out with the label you'll see the white label with the name uh, they send it out to people they kind of get some uh, feedback and everything and opinions so that way they can translate that and get that into the perfect smoke so that you get what you want Jeez. so again I mean when I'm smoking it you definitely get those tea notes it's more of a mellow smoke but at the same time you get that very milky taste it's almost like a creamer um, being, we've smoked it for what about probably 30 minutes now, it's about, about half an hour, yeah. And we've noticed that at the beginning of the smoke, it was more of a, it was very subtle, wasn't very strong. But as we've gotten more into it, you definitely get more of that of a milky taste. It's, I think it translates very well in, from smell to smoke. Yeah, I definitely have to agree. That's pretty spot on. Um, you definitely get that those tea notes for sure. You're gonna get that um, that milkiness, that milky sensation. Definitely follows it up. And it's really a it's it's a really good blend, man. I, I really like the way that they uh, married these these flavors, this, this combination of flavors. And uh, I, I want to say it's pretty darn accurate to how it smells. So that's always very very good, very important. Um, I want to say that um, with some of the other social smoke flavors in the past that I've reviewed, um, to to be more specific, the horchata. Uh -huh. I hate that. Uh, Hookah chef, shout out to Christian. He said you might want to leave it out a little bit, kind of let it, not really so much air it, but just kind of leave it out, let it settle into like, you know, the, with the bag open. And you're going to you're gonna see that it's going to develop some more flavors with that as well. So like Dylan mentioned, it already changed from the beginning of the session till now. It's definitely more of a prominent flavor that's coming out more. But I think uh, once you smoke, the next time you smoke it, it's going to be even... Oh yeah, for sure. And I mean, like you said with the horchata, it's... That one was, it was a very good spice flavor also, I think. Um, but I definitely think this is much more of a stronger flavor than that was. Um, I definitely love the tea notes and the milk notes. I mean, all at the same time, it just, like you said, it translates very well. Something I, I've been mentioning lately in my social smoke reviews is that um, the smoke from the old social smoke seemed really airy. Yes. Um, but I feel like it's got a little bit more body to it now. I'm not sure what they did, but they definitely had to have gone back in the lab and reformulated somehow. Maybe it's a different cut of tobacco. Maybe it's a different ingredient they add. But I feel like the clouds are a little bit more body. I agree because, like, again, I've smoked a lot of social smoke. And back in the day, like it was almost like a vape smoke. I mean, it was, yeah, very, it was very airy. 
um, it didn't feel as smoky and thick. Whereas with this blade, I mean, with, with a lot of the newer social smokes, it feels like a more dense smoke. It feels like you're, I mean, it translates like all the more of the other brands and you get that thick smoke. Right. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the clouds. I, I mean, you expect great clouds from social smoke and you've seen a lot, but let's take a look at some of those clouds. Some nice, thick, white, puffy stormtrooper clouds. And again, guys, this is going to be coming out soon, so definitely get your hands on it. Yeah, this is definitely something that I could see myself buying again. I feel like this would actually be a really good wintertime smoke just because oh, yeah. of that tea note. Especially you know like I mean? fall time sitting outside, oh, relaxing, with, I mean, setting up your hookah. I mean, it's the best feeling. Fantastic. And then as far as like mixing this, do you see yourself mixing this with anything? I mean, I think we could both agree it's a fantastic standalone flavor. Oh yeah, right? definitely. For me personally, I think it would be more of a better as a standalone flavor. If you were gonna mix it, I'd say mix it with, again, more spice flavors. I mean, maybe even like a pumpkin pleasure or something like that. Ooh. I mean, just cause that way, I mean, you get like, the, you'll get those pumpkin notes with those sweet tea notes. I think it would just be a really good mixer there. Man, I'm just imagining it right now and that would be so bomb, dude. Yeah, may have to pick me up some pumpkin pleasure. So uh, this is gonna be available at some point at fivestarhoopa.com. Big shout out to Alex and Mary, always holding it down for your boys, because we both are five star customers. Um, and uh, if you need a discount on anything that's not on sale, please feel free to use my discount code somewhere in this vicinity. And uh, it'll save you 15% off of anything that's not on sale. That's important, please remember, anything that's not on sale. So other than that, do you have any closing notes? No, again, like you said, I mean, check out Five Star. I mean, it's a go-to place, especially when, for me, I know if I need something, Five Star's gonna have it. So uh, anyways, that's gonna do it for us. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we will see you on the next review. Give us a thumbs up if you like Dylan in the videos. You know, we'll definitely have him back and doing some more reviews, and then maybe uh, we could talk him into starting his own channel and uh, doing knows? some reviews. <laughs> I think he did a great job, so let him know in the comments below how he did on this review. What are some ideas for like a hookah channel that, like a name, what name would you call I mean, about? I don't know, my Instagram name is AZ Hookah Head, being that we're from Arizona, I mean, so I mean, if I were to do it, it'd probably go somewhere in that direction. Uh, and again, guys, I just wanna say thank you to Jaynuk. I mean, not, I mean, a lot of people love you as a person. <laughs> and I mean, I get the luxury of being able to hang out with you. I mean, going to, whether it's going to lounges or just smoking with you. And I mean, it's definitely a privilege, so thank you for that. I appreciate that, man. The honor's all mine that you wanted to come out here and smoke. I mean, at the end of the day, we all love hookah. I mean, and we can all bring something different to the table. So, I mean, being together, all it does is get us better at what we can do. There you go. So, with that being said, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next review, and I'm going to take you out properly. Deuces.